The following video is rated YouTube HM for excessive Hardy Man. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back everyone, Hardy Man here, back in Hard Times in Minecraft. So, did, did a little bit extra work uh, today and, and a little bit over the weekend to hopefully get this in working condition. So, I'll go over you know the stuff that I've done uh and hopefully get to work and and maybe see it actually successfully kill zombies and all that good stuff so let's go down here I'll show you what I did over here so this is my AFK room as you can see there's the spawner right above us we got a little you know glass block right here so we can watch it and I can just come over here and spawn all the zombies I want and they'll travel by the water into our little duck system and come over here and drop in right there so what instead of using gravity to kill them like I, I tried last time I went back to a little bit uh, better system I believe of doing it and it's using lava so if I hit this lava is going to shoot out burn them and then be pulled back in so it's hopefully just enough to where it'll set them on fire and take them down to like a half heart or whatever and we could punch them or put a uh, splash potion of healing on them and it'll kill them outright like all together uh, so hopefully that works. Over here I have a uh, lever that has redstone running up to two pistons that will block the flow off of new mobs coming into our channel. So once I do this, everyone in there should have the same amount of hit points. Uh, oh wait, that's not going to actually work. I just thought about that. This needs to be moved down one, or this moved up one, but I guess it'd probably be simpler moving that down one, because we're also going to have baby zombies most likely, hmm, because they, and they, they, because this, uh, dispenser only shoots out and hits this, so I'm assuming that the baby zombies would just be down there, you know, hanging out, so we're going to have to move this down one, I guess, uh, which I mean that's not really a big deal but I'm glad, I'm glad I thought about it right now so uh, I think that's about it for that uh, I can come over here I closed up that and that all I did I think that's all I did so you see this is still here I'll show you there's the pistons and there's the hole that they dropped out inside of so that is hopefully what they will be doing once I get back out of here because man this is some horrible water but yeah those uh, pistons will just uh, extend blocking anyone that's in this channel from you know going uh, further down in there and hopefully hopefully it doesn't get clogged up too badly why can I not get out here it's really weird that I can't get out on that side it's really strange. Uh, so, I think that's it for the actual, you know, device. I also built a ladder all the way up to the surface. Uh, this is actually a pretty good placement because it comes out on the edge of one of our uh, little gardens or, you know, farm area things in uh, the village. So, pretty good placement. But anyway, so let's go back and I guess try it out. Hopefully, you know, we don't get any baby zombies right off that we can't kill without, you know, using a sword or something like that. There we go. Get this one. And this one. Uh, I missed that one. Well, I can I can get it now. And oh no, 
Get over there. Go the way you're supposed to go. There we go. So he's automatically going to die whenever he gets down inside of here. Is he down inside of it? Let me... Right there. Okay, good. So we'll stop the flow of zombies coming into the actual place. And we'll burn him. So now he's on fire. He's most likely going to die because I already hit him once. So it's not going to be a great test to see if it, if it gets them down to uh, like half heart or heart. Interesting. That's interesting. Because he did... He died on one punch, but I already punched him once more. Hmm. Let's see if we put any more in there. How many more we're going to get in there? That looks like one. Is there only one in there? Whatever. We'll try with this guy. Probably want to put some type of uh, light in there so you could... So it's not like that big old like black area inside there. Okay, can I hit you once? No, I have to hit you twice. Hmm. Now this uh, setup is I think used for skeletons, or at least I used it for skeletons on uh, my multiplayer server that I had. Uh, running for a while and it, it worked great on them. I don't know if they have a different amount of hearts because I think these guys have 10 hearts if I'm not mistaken. I don't know how many skeletons have so that may be the the difference here. Hmm. So we may need to like look up a different way to, to kill some of these guys. But we could try it again and see what happens. Uh, oh, one good thing about having these like right there at the end. I noticed sometimes you could, uh, I guess they could like hop back up a little bit. And it may get out uh, into the water stream if it's still up there. So that is, that is something that I definitely... Probably won't be a problem with this since it it cuts it off right there. So I think that's it. But yeah, we definitely need to figure out if there is a better way to do this where I don't have to hit them multiple times uh, to kill them. I don't know if there's a way that I can make this last a little bit longer, and it'll do that. I don't know. But anyway. So, I think the next step for this whole thing is probably making it, you know, a little bit nicer to, to you know, be inside of. Right now, it's, well, it's, it's just this. It's, you know, m messed up cobblestone and, and all that stuff from our previous experiment and places where I just had to, like, break open the wall to put in redstone, so not that great looking so I'll probably do a little bit of that off camera and you know try to make this a little bit prettier and not so horrible to look at so I don't well I guess I'll be AFK in here a lot and I, I, I won't actually be looking at it but you know you have a little bit better surroundings makes you feel a little bit better makes uh, murdering all these zombies a little bit easier in the right zombies or zombie hmm. let's see about this AFK room that I got over here are they I wonder I think they they still be spawning uh, if I was over there but this definitely will have them spawning because I'm what two blocks three blocks down from them so it, it should be spawning uh, and I'm pretty sure they should all be spawning like inside that room and you know just flowing down but yeah so I think that's gonna be it for today uh, 
this is definitely gonna be a little shorter episode. Oh, spooky noise. I guess that's that, uh, cave that's somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where. It's up here, I think, right? Find that wall. These walls. We actually need to go back and explore that ravine that's over there. Might do that, uh... I might do that off camera. I don't know. If I find anything, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, come back and record it. And, you know, show it to y'all. But I think that'll be it for today. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, this guy's partially coming through the wall. Oh, there's multiple ones in there, finally. Oh, we got a guy in gold. Yeah, he's taking a lot of hits because he's in armor. Wow, he's taking a lot of hits. Finally. So yeah, I'm definitely going to look up a, a different way to do this then. Because I thought that it would be the same at, with like the skeletons, but apparently there are some differences with zombies that fire just cannot kill them enough. Hmm. But yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you next time. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.